This is IKSC International Kangaroo Science Contest and I am going to solve question number 1 to 10 of the past paper 2022 and it's for class 9, 10 that is also known as junior level. Question number 1 is that which of the following statements is true about the human eye? Options are at the bottom of the slide. A. The crystalline eye lens plays the role of a divergent lens. B. Virtual images of objects are formed on retina. C. Accommodation for clear vision is achieved by deforming the retina. D. The minimum distance of clear vision for a normal healthy eye is 25 mm. E. The farthest point up to which the eye can see objects clearly is called fog point. We are going to scrutinize every option one by one in the next slides. The light entering our eyes must be converged at a single point. Therefore, the lens in our eyes must be a converging lens and a convex lens is a converging lens. Therefore, the lens present in a human eye is a convex lens. So, converged and converging lens are highlighted. And according to our option number A, it is incorrect or because the explanation is the opposite one as it presents divergent lens in the option number a moving on option number b the image formed at the retina of the human eye is real and inverted it is due to the presence of a convex lens in the eye so in the options it was written that virtual images are formed however it is opposite according to the reason so this is also incorrect option number c how is accommodation achieved in human eye? The process by which certain muscles called ciliary muscles function to change the focal length of the eye so that the image is clearly formed on the retina is called accommodation of the eye. According to that explanation, option number C is also incorrect. For option number D, the minimum distance for a clear vision of a normal human eye is 25 cm. It is also known as the least distance of distinct vision or the near of the near the point of an eye. The human eye is a specialized sense organ that is capable of receiving virtual images and then carried to the brain. According to that, the option in the option it was written 25 mm. However, it is more than that, that is 25 cm, and centimeter is bigger than millimeter. So, option number D is also incorrect. However, option number E is correct because of the reasoning that far point of the eye is the maximum distance at which the eye can see the objects clearly. The far point of the normal human eye is infinity. Myopia is a disorder in which the eye is unable to see distant objects properly. Thus, for a myopic eye, far point is less than infinity. So, according to that, all the options except E is are incorrect. So, our correct option is option number E. Question number 2. The best sources of energy for our body are options are available proteins, salt, vegetables, D carbohydrates, E vitamins. And for that, carbohydrates are the main energy source of the human and, and that is from the Google. According to that reasoning, option number D is correct, that is carbohydrates. Moving on question number 3, all the isotopes of uranium have. Options are given below. A. The same atomic number, the same mass number. B. The same mass number but different atomic numbers. C. The same atomic number but different mass numbers. D. Different atomic and mass numbers. E. An equal number of protons and neutrons. For this question, we are going to first know that what are isotopes. And here it is. Um, the first point is number of protons equals to atomic number. Second is the number of protons plus number of neutrons which are equal to atomic mass number. And the third one is that isotopes have some atomic numbers have same atomic number protons but different atomic masses due to different number of uh, neutrons and according to option uh, according to point number three our correct option is option number c the same atomic number but different mass numbers question number four which of the following is a common characteristic of sodium and iron options are given below a they can form alloys b they have the same color c they are soft 
D. They are stored in petroleum. E. They are water resistant in the dark. Now we are going to analyze every option from the next slide. Option number A. They form alloys. So alloys of sodium which is sodium potassium alloy and alloys of iron. There are number of different types of alloys containing iron. Some of the most important include carbon steels, alloy steels, stainless steels, tool steels, cast iron and matching steel. Carbon steels are steels in which the main alloying additive is carbon. Mild steel is the most common due to its low cost. So option number A is correct because they both form alloys. Option number B, they have the same color. Well, the color of sodium is silvery white and the color of gray iron is gray. So this option is incorrect. Option number C, they are soft. Pure iron is soft, making it malleable and ductile. Steel is hard and tough, making it difficult to mold. Sodium is a very soft, silvery white metal. So this option is incorrect. Moving on option number D, they are stored in petroleum. Sodium is a highly reactive element. If it is kept in open, it can explosively react with oxygen to catch fire. Hence, to prevent accidental damage, sodium is immersed in kerosene iron. However, the, on the other side, the human body stores iron in the form of ferritin and hemocytrine in liver, spleen, marrow, duodenum, skeletal muscle and other anatomic areas. So this option is also incorrect. They are water resistant in the dark. Is sodium alginate waterproof? Though edible films prepare from hydrocolloids like alginate from strong films, they exhibit poor water resistance because of the hydrophilic nature. Any form of iron can rest when exposed to oxygen and water molecules. So this option is also correct. Why I am giving you the reason for the incorrect option because sometimes a question can be formed in the other ways. So you must know the reasoning of the incorrect options as well. So according to question or according to our explanations, the correct option is option number A, the form alloys. Next question number 5. Which of the following belongs to the category of synthetic organic substances? According to that, we have some explanations. Synthetic organic compounds SOCs are man-made, organic, carbon-based chemicals. Organic compounds. Organic compounds make up the whole or part of innumerable products, some natural and some synthetic. So, Natural and synthetic are the two categories of organic compounds. Synthetic examples include plastics, explosives, paints, petrochemicals, carbo uh, hydrocarbons derived from petroleum that are used to make synthetic compounds such as plastic. According to that explanation, so our correct option is option number E, that is plastic products. Question number 6. Knowing that resistors R1, R2, R3, R4 are all equal in value, select the correct relation among the equivalent resistances of the following electric circuits. 1, 2, 3 circuits are given and there are options and different options are also given. Now, first of all, we are going to calculate the resistances of part number 1, 2, 3 and then when we get the value, then we know the then we will get the correct relation that is given in the option so this is the first part as all the resistances are equal in values then we will take all resistors value is equal to 1 ohm when resistors are in series their values are simply added but when they are in parallel the formula is given on the right side and that is one of R equivalent is equals to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. R equivalent equals to R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So we must know these two series and parallel formulas. Now we are going to solve it. Ri put by putting the values. Resistance values will be 1. According to that, the answer we will get is after solving it 5 by 2 and 
the answer in the point is r1 value is 2.5 ohms now we are going to use the formulas for the second part when three resistors are in parallel their values are found through formula which is given on the right side so here is the r equivalent formula for three resistances in parallel and the four resistance is in series so 4 1 is added with the three other resistance formula after solving the answer we get in the points is 1.33 ohms so this is the third one and r1 is and r1 and r4 are series they will be added but other other ones are parallel so by using the formula and solving it the answer we get is 0 0.0.4 ohms now we calculated all three of them so the relation we get is r1 is 2.5 ohms r2 is 1.33 ohms and r3 is 0.4 ohms so the relation is r3 is so the very small is smaller than r2 and r2 is smaller than r1 and this is option number b question number seven which of the following is an advantage of plastic materials option a they are flammable b they have low density c they are breakable d they are susceptible to stretching e they do not pollute well we are going to find the advantage Plastics are flammable and likely to be stretchable. These are all disadvantages. Plastics are the major cause of pollution and they are both low and high density. Low density polyethylene LDPE is a thermoplastic made from petroleum that can be found translucent or opaque. It is flexible and tough but breakable and considered less toxic than other plastics and relatively safe. So, according to our reasoning, option number C, they are breakable. This is actually an advantage of plastic materials because these are some breakable materials are used in some kind of activities. Moving on, question number 8. The electric current I through a conductor varies with time T as shown in the graph. The amount of electric charge passing through a cross section of the conductor in the time interval t1 is equal to 0 seconds to t2 equals to 8 seconds is equal to the diagram is given and options are 60 uh, milli charge b 16 milli charge c 64 milli charge d 32 milli charge e 8 milli charge now we are going to solve uh, this question in the next slide so this is actually the diagram we got it and zero is the point over there the starting point blue stripes show that there is a rectangle where one side width is five units and the other side length is eight units so both the sides are not equal and that is rectangle however if the sides are equal then they, it will be a square Yellow stripes show that this is a triangle where its base B is 8 units and height is 5 units. Now the formula to find charge is Q equals to ID where I is the current and T is the time. Q is equals to or the other formulas is that Q equals to integration sine I dt. Q equals to area under the curve but we are, you, we, we are going to use the third formula area under the curve because area under the curve is directly proportional to the integration so according to that q equals to area under the curve q equals to area of rectangle plus area of triangle and we know the formulas for area of rectangle is length multiplied by width and area of triangle is half into base into height by putting the values which were given in the last slide the answer we get is 
60 coulombs so here option number a is correct 60 mini coulombs is the correct answer question number 9 which of the following are chemical pollutants of drinking water a parasites b radioactive waste c herbicides d bacteria e microorganisms here is some explanation persistent herbicides in the environment which have high solubility mobility and sorption capacity to soil particles and or all volatilization can present great potential for contamination of drinking water if not used properly so according to that our correct option is option number c herbicides Here it is our last question, question number 10 of this video. Which of the following is true about astigmatism? Option number A, astigmatism cannot be corrected. B, can be corrected by spherical lenses. C, it can be corrected by cylindrical lenses. D, it can be corrected by converging lenses. E, it can be corrected by divergent lenses. So, what we got from the google which lens is used to cure astigmatism cylindrical lens power to correct the problem of astigmatism a cylindrical lens power is used it is used to correct the difference between the power of the two principal meridians of the eye so it can be removed by using a lens which is cylindrical regarding this explanation option number c is correct astigmatism can be corrected by cylindrical lenses so this was our last question and if you find any ambiguity in our slides or discuss any other thing regarding IKSC past papers kindly do comments. Thanks. Bye bye.